is women's singles. And it features the German Juliana Schenk, who disposed yesterday of the reigning world champion, Wang Yi Han. She's up against the youngster from Thailand, Intanon Arachan. And of course, our last semi final of the day will be women's doubles. As I was saying, Juliana Schenk yesterday caused an absolute sensation. Beating the world number one. And last year's winner here of the Li Ming China Open. Beating her from a game down. Now oh, nine minutes it was. Well, I can tell you that the winner of this semi-final will play against the Olympic champion because the number two seed, Li Xiaorui, had a victory this afternoon over the Japanese youngster, Minatsu Mitani, in two straight games, but a very, very close second game. But here comes the German... Juliana Schenk. Twenty-nine year old. And her opponents just seventeen years of age. Internon Rachinok. Three-time former World Junior Champion. She could have played in the World Junior Championships this year, last month. Well, it was just a couple of weeks ago, wasn't it? In Japan, in Chiba, in Japan. And of course, as far as Japanese players are concerned, they were probably fairly delighted that Interdon Raction didn't play because Japan had three out of the four semi-finalists in the women's singles and in fact took the gold medal in the girls' singles with Okuhara. And there is the youngster, 17 years of age. Last year was Thailand's female amateur athlete of the year. That's quite an achievement when she was 16 years of age. Her male counterpart, male athlete of the year, was Taekwondo star. And when you consider the martial arts are so popular in Thailand, it's wonderful to think that our sport of badminton had the female athlete of the year in the form of Intanon Arachanuk. So for Juliana Schenk, as I was saying, 29 years of age. And this lady, 12 years her junior. 10 in the world ranking. But she has been as high as nine, so just down from her highest ever. But this her first semi-final here at the China Open. But would you believe it? She's been quarter finalist at this particular event for the last two years. For a 17 year old, that's just extraordinary. Well, there you are. Look who she beat in the first round. The young Japanese player who won the gold medal at the World Junior Championships. And it was three tough games, an hour and two minutes. Defeated the Dane Tina Baum in yesterday's quarter final, number six seed. But Juliana Schenk who will turn 30 in nine days' time from Krefeld in Germany, up to a career-high four in the world ranking, but only achieved that two weeks ago, and therefore her seeding for this event was when she was ranked five. 
Well, there you can see her quarterfinal. What a wonderful, wonderful victory that was against last year's winner here, Wang Ihan, the Olympic silver medalist coming from that game down to win in an hour and nine minutes. 21-17 in the decider. And just for good measure, in the second round, she had disposed of the 2010 world champion, Wang Lin. So this is the fifth meeting between these two players. And the only time that the Thai player has won was the last meeting, which was in the last 16 of the Olympic Games. Two just straight games, as you saw. 21-16, 21-15. There are four previous meetings. Twice it's gone the full distance. There's Intanon's coach, Udom Liang Pech Charapon. And there's Juliana Schenk's coach. I, mean, I don't think he'll be coming on to court much if you were with us yesterday for the quarterfinals. Even when the players changed ends, he just changed ends and went and sat down behind the court again. Juliana Schenk prefers not to have any instruction from coaches unless she asks for help. She prefers just to be left on her own. So the unseeded 17-year-old Inthanon Arachanuk from Thailand up against the number five seed Juliana Schenk from Germany. I must say yesterday it was uh, Juliana was, was the most I've seen her go back and ask for advice ever. Uh, she was, uh, yesterday she was down asking her coach. Uh, or at least just getting some confirmation on what she was doing is right. So maybe that's the change. No, nicely done. difficult push, push from that the way you, you don't really know if you can hit it down or not and then pushing to the corners it's very effective that is two very contrasting careers. I know as far as this lady is concerned, she's still very young and hardly really embarked on her career yet. But the contrast is quite remarkable. Juliana Schenk really only started to enjoy huge success in the major tournaments in World Badminton over the last two or three years. And as I was saying, not far off her 30th birthday and and yet, in contrast, we've got Ratchanuk, who, at the age of 16, was reaching semi-finals of Premier Super Series events. And here she is at the age of 17, another Premier semi-final. Semi it, it's difficult to understand why Juliana Schenk didn't blossom earlier on when she was a little bit younger. I mean, she's well, worked so she, hard. She made, she made a choice that I think, you know, if she looks back at it, she, she, she could say to herself that probably wasn't the best choice uh, to play uh, both doubles and singles. Um, because uh, that, was, uh, that, was, that was too hard when, 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 you're, when you're playing matches like she is playing. Uh, and then you ha you have to go and play a ladies doubles later on. Uh, you, that's too much. Um, and and I, I, it, I totally can't remember, but I think she started doing pretty well when she uh, she stopped playing uh, uh, ladies doubles. Um, yeah, of course she used to play women's doubles with Nicole Goretta, and in fact they were medalists at European Championships, weren't they, in the yep. women's doubles? And then, if I remember correctly, Nicole Goretta ruptured a. And Achilles tendon 
and therefore they stopped playing doubles and that's when Juliana Schenk just concentrated on her singles and yeah. as we were talking about the other day when we were watching her I mean she really is such a physical player I think you've made an excellent point trying to play the two disciplines was physically too demanding yeah too demanding lucky enough to watch other Thailand players earlier in the week and we've been talking at length about there's four or five youngsters in the women's singles from Thailand all highly skillful all huge potential now just explain to us Jim you know here we are we're watching that that last shot from Intanon Ratchanuk and she just seemed to turn her wrist at the last moment there that's a deceptive shot for a start but this one coming here up she just turns the racket at the last second and then she kind of cuts through the yeah. through the shuttle and uh, very very difficult because she had to control and and, and and it makes you it makes you uh, it makes your opponent you know doubt which way the the, the shot is going to come so um, it's actually something you see most doubles players would use and not so many singles players but so it's a good uh, Good shot to have. But Julia has got a, a good start again here today. She's uh, she just keeps keeps going on and uh, very aggressive in her style and and works hard and and uh, as soon as she sees the chance, she she goes for the kill. I think we saw a few successful net uh, jump smashes yesterday, and here's one more. So that was lucky. <laughs> so. Uh, 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 um, and that's that's really impressive. Um, she gets up pretty high. Yeah. Very, very good athlete. She was in the army at one stage. Is she still in serving in the army, Juliana Schenk? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it, it, there is, I know for in, in Germany, there is some kind of a... a sports a, a, soldier or something. Yeah where, yeah, where you have to show up once a month and then you... you well played by you yeah. well, then you can train and and, and, and do your sport uh, yeah and, and then still still to, so it's a good idea i think um i don't know why it has to be in the army but you don't mm. when, I, when i was in austria as a nasa coach they had, had kind of the same yeah so. and i th i think they have the same in in Thailand, actually, because I know that Sukit Prakamul, a mixed doubles player, he's in the army, and his mixed doubles partner, she's in the air force. Oh, there you go. Yeah, and she's a, she's a higher ranking than her mixed doubles partner, which always causes a bit of laughter between <laughs> the two of them, because she's a, he says that he's not going to listen to her, even though she's got a higher ranking. <laughs> That's a magnificent smash, isn't it? Uh, exactly. Great angle. Short. Oh, oh she's missed it. Would you believe it? What on earth? Good net shot. She, I think she doubts a little bit so she can get. She actually doesn't time the jumps match so well, yeah. so she goes for the cut instead. Um, There you go again, Ratchana. Oh, fantastic defense by Schenk. Oh. No. But she's so dangerous, Ratchana, when she comes to the front of the court and she can do these defense, yeah, defense skill shots from up there. It's, it's, um, it's something I think a lot of ladies uh, singles could learn from, uh, and, and that's probably where ladies singles are going. You know, you'll see more and more of that coming because they are fitter and stronger and uh, uh, quicker the latest singles nowadays they will come up and have the same opportunities out there as the men just wide it's 
so it is in the number five C, Juliana Schenk, who has the advantage at the mid-game interval. We have to remember, for example, for, for Schenk with the jump smash, you know, the reason why you haven't seen the jump from it fully go into the ladies' singles yet. It's not so much that they can't jump. They can jump and they can smash, but it's the shot after that. You know, it's the following up of the shot. And you can see she, uh, Juliana, she, she, she hits harder. Than, than, than most other, so, so so she will have an advantage after that. You know, there's no point in making a jump smash if you, 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 you're hardly down before the shot comes over again. So it's, it has a lot to do with that. Uh, um, so I just see a very strong player. Yeah, nice idea. Oh, big ball. <laughs> Inton on the Ratchanuk's match, quarter-final match in the Olympic Games, wasn't that a thrilling occasion? Had her chances, a game and 16-9 up against the number two seed, Wang Sin. Forcing the pace, Juliana. Uh, keeping Ratchanak in the defense a lot. And that's what she has to do. Um, and sometimes these mistakes will come. Oh, brilliant. Oh, that was interesting. Did you see that? There was a little nod from Ratchanuk towards the line judge and towards her opponent as if to say, yep, that was a good shot. Certainly was. Seldom you see that. <laughs> yeah, but uh, given what you've been saying earlier today about sometimes you just yeah. have to say, acknowledge and accept that your opponent has hit a good shot and then get on with it and that's exactly what she's done yeah. for a 17 year old the maturity yeah. fantastic and that's probably the reason why she can already compete at that high level at yeah. this age you know good high surf Seems to have a little bit of trouble in the defense, Ratchanak. Um. When it's at her or, or defense in yeah, general? Yeah, but she seems to, uh, she, has, she hasn't really found the right distance to the net yet. She's been doing the kind of a, a few mistakes on the defense. It's not because it's out of reach, but that yeah. cut from the round hit there is that's deadly. It's, uh, and the way she controls it in here with the drift and everything is just amazing. Both players are showing really, really good shots here. Pace in the rally. Mm. 
I mean, Schenk so often frustrates opponents, doesn't she? Because she gets so much back. Court coverage is so good. Not only gets uh, she gets it back, she gets it back in a good way, you know. Yeah. It's, it's, it's with tempo and, and, and power, and so she doesn't give her opponents that many chances to finish the rally. jump smash and <laughs> the most of the men's singles players goodness me that's good and that's I see that's the, that's why she can use it you know yeah uh, had they now been not that wide and that hard you know she wouldn't have been landing before the shot was over again so that's the big difference um, so maybe she's showing us the future of lady singles right now I do think that the women's singles game has already progressed in, in the way that the net play has become so much more important, almost as important as it is in the men's singles game because if you control the net, tight spinning net shots, then that's where you force your opponent to lift and then the players, the men's singles players can use their winning shot then to finish off the rally. Oh. And I think exactly the same thing is happening now in women's singles. Yeah. The one thing that I, I would like to see uh, more in ladies' singles is these these trick shots, and then I don't mean t incredible, crazy trick shots, but a little bit more holding the shuttle, and then a little more deception. Yeah, you deception mean. shots, uh, uh, which I think if you see the men that they, they they are good at using from the net and 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 f forcing the opponent to constantly doubt. Um, I think that would be the next next step. There is a few few out there they can do these things and you can see they have they have a, a, a benefit of it so um well perhaps Ratchanuk is the player to take yeah, it to exactly. that no, well, to that new level yeah but you, she's already using some of it but but she's using it from can you say from um when she's high on the net also use a little bit when she's down What a rally. Oh, watch oh, Yeah, <laughs> you squish that shuttle. That will be no good. Look at that. Look. How did she get this back? How did she almost get that one? That's fantastic. Yeah, how many players would have actually tried for that? Most would have given up. Such a good sign. Such a good athlete. Oh, goodness gracious. Tried to play that in the end. <laughs> Missed it. And it did indeed land out. She's been she's just as solid as she was yesterday, Joanna. Fighting for every point, frustrating our opponent. Oh, there you go. What a rally. Green 
interesting to see uh, there's a little bit of deception shot yeah. we spoke about. Uh, you know, she's kind of cutting it to the other. Almost she's like a top spin on yeah. it. And uh, I think that's something you will see more and more ladies, uh, singles players, be able to do. Because, of course, people will train what gives you an advantage. So... Um, mm. Once again, and now game point opportunities for the German. She's done a few mistakes on that round hit side uh, when she tries to go cross, reverse cut. Uh, Achanox has been more successful straight uh, uh, with the straight cut, and 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 Juliana's seen that now. So to see she's closing the straight one and forcing her to use the cross. Um, smart move by the German. She's already standing straight. Uh, to be honest, he knows she's coming there. This time, third time of asking. And Juliana Schenk, Julie converts the opening game. 21-18. 20 minutes of playing. What an excellent opening game that was. Two fine athletes, two skillful badminton players. And an intriguing women's singles contest. much has a routine in the two-minute timeout this Juliana Schenk. Coach Udom. Great character he is too. It looks like he's talking. Uh, I think you know the main reason why she lost is says Ratchanak is, uh, of course, uh, oh, a little bit of coaching going on. Um, is that the, the 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 easy mistakes in her defense, um, which is something she has to improve uh, uh, here in the second set. Um, there's too many easy mistakes in that. And, but of course, it's Juliana who works for it, so uh, gotta give credit to her as well. Right. Yeah, that 
was good courage, having just hit a smash wide of that backhand side of Juliana Schenk. Brunick's rally plays a perfect one. Very high surf. It seems like she's having a little more. She tries something different, but I don't think the flat lift back to, to Juliana, who's so strong, is the right move. Uh, I would rather, if I was watching, I, I would. Oops. Well played by Juliana. I would maybe try and, you know, play a little bit into the court, make, make it you know, like a safe defensive shot. Um, and it straight back to Juliana is not the right thing because she comes so quickly forward and hits so hard. So. Well, it's almost as if a young Thai player is so determined to try and get the shuttle out of the reach of yeah. Juliana Schenk that she's just hitting out of the court. But she's constantly under pressure. You can see even from the first uh, rally they had where she was hitting it out, I, I, I just I had, I noticed that Juliana was like almost running over and taking the shuttle and getting ready to the serve. So she's putting so much pressure on the situation constantly mm. that you, 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 you know, it's very different from other singles players that take their time between the rallies and you know she she continues continue to force it and and, and and play with pace see there's a big difference from Ratchanog and Juliana see Ratchanog takes her time and seems that Schenk is using the body smash quite often. Yeah. It's incredible to think she's won already at the age of 17 has won five international titles shudder to think how many she might win throughout her career oh. That's brilliant. Yeah, she, she, she has a bright bright future <laughs> yeah she keeps it up yeah, stays injury free That's one of the major factors. 14 years, 2 months and 21 days old she was when she won her first international title. Fantastic. And you know, the good thing again in Thailand, there's a few others gone in front. Yeah. So, uh, she can't totally relax say, no. I got that, this one for her. And that's a luxury to have that as a coach. huge amount of pressure in that rally pushed to the back brought forward made to twist and turn and that's that shot she's been trying to do a few times now where he she didn't have success but this is the first time she gets it over and now into the lead she's more ready now on the defense
Good finale once again. Just watching in that during the court coverage of both players and, and how they were making the other really change direction within the rally, which physically is so demanding. It's much easier to run in a straight line, isn't yeah, it? But when yeah. you have to stop and then change direction. And they were you have to generate so much power when yeah. that happens and that, that, that drains your energy. And that, uh, it's also a reason why they probably decided to take a little break. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but that's understandable. I mean, this is quality badminton. Yeah. But that's one of the things that you train a lot as a badminton player is these constantly chains of movement, because that's 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 the hardest part. Um. Well, she earned her own luck there. Took the shuttle early. Came from above the shuttle. Had the options. short yeah there's a jump smash from Arachinuk back at you I think he's called <laughs> nah, that's impressive but I like her touch it's a really nice touch you can you can hear it, it she hits the shuttle Nine, such good timing every time it's it's uh, yeah, fantastic. Oh my goodness. Superb. What a rally. Oh, the way she clipped down that final shot. Very precise. <laughs> Plum onto the line. Tonak felt looks like she she's holding her to her hamstring a little bit. It's not a punishing rally. Oh, I don't believe it. Brilliant rally. And that will hurt physically. to the mid-game interval. And a 17-year-old with the advantage. <laughs> look at the look on her face. Despite winning the rally, absolute anguish of pain. Again, just wants to compose her own thoughts.
you know, your job would be easy as a coach, wouldn't it, if, if you didn't have to talk to your players <laughs> and they nice. were all like that. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Sit and clap and... <laughs> There's phone against it, you know. I, I mean, you know, I can could also sometimes prefer it because it's it is it is. I think it is important that the players themselves can, you know, control the match in their head, um, come up with their own uh, uh, tactical uh, ideas in the court. So there is a tendency some players. Uh, constantly are looking for advice and constantly are looking for, and you can see that 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 then it becomes more of the coach's problem than the players. And that's a problem, I think. Yeah. I've had some players said who's been saying to me, what should I do? You know, that's mm. the worst situation you can <laughs> stand in yeah. and sit in as a coach. Because uh, no matter what, it's not a win-win situation. <laughs> it's oh. Missed opportunity. And I wonder if that just signals a turning point in the match. Schenk really should have won that rally. Oh! Where did that come from? That's brilliant. Characteristic uh, mistakes by Juliana here the last couple, so maybe that long rally before the break took a little bit off. Yeah. Took a good gear off again. Um. Yeah, because of course when you look at the compare these two players matches yesterday in the quarter-final stage, our action up disposing of the European champion Tina Baun in just 35 minutes whereas Juliana Schenk taking an hour and nine minutes to be last year's champion and world number one there's another unforced error I think she has uh, made the decision now to sell this set and then go for the third uh, it will be too the gap is too too big to 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 to, to come back uh, so not worth the fight save yourself for the decider save for the decider yeah because uh see yeah clearly and it's you know it's not of course it's not the best thing to look at but um in the game right now if if she's to win it uh, she can't can't use too much energy but it's also a sign of that she's probably a little bit more uh, tired than Ratchanok is so. Yeah, I think you're right. And for is it's really difficult now because you know she has to, you know, she she knows that Juliana is going to come out. Uh, firing in that first set and, and she has to s still win this set and then see that's typical <laughs> you know uh, uh, she still has to finish this set but she also starts already now to focus on the third set and oh. Oh. I think it was right good call Johan does definitely didn't mind. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Ten opportunities now to level this semi final at one game apiece.
just not interested once Intermon Moracinok got too far in front. No way back. So it's one game all. Everything to play for in this third and deciding game. For Ratchanak right now is to come out uh, as strong as uh, she came out in the second set and uh, uh, stays with the game plan, keeping it hard, not giving easy points away. And you can say if if Juliana feels a little bit tired, is to try and squeeze in a point after point and try and keep it tight so she can see the end of the light, the light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, to say let's get up to 12 all or whatever, 15 all. And then she can see the, the finish line. Um, that would be kind of like what I would be thinking if I was Juliana right now. If if she has that much tiredness, uh, maybe yeah. she's not. I don't know. But but um, the call from the umpire that 20 seconds remain. There was a sign and a signal for the players to return to court. Well, I suspect you're right. I think the start of this deciding game is going to be crucial. Yeah, you see uh, Juliana's taking all the time she can get. Uh, getting sweep the floor and to say she has exactly enough power for one more set. Oh. oh, that was going out. Yeah, that's also odd. And then the luck of the net court. Once again, it went through my mind in the early stages of that rally. Plus the fact that Juliana seemed to take two shots that were going out. And German really should have won that rally. Yeah. But she's again. Oh, that's good. But she's different pace now. Much more aggressive again. Her more her style of play and and uh, a lot of energy. a good point for Juliana right now. That's good. Smart play. She keeps lifting a little bit high so she doesn't give the, the chance for the German to come in and hit her smashes. remarkable defense the ability to turn the shuttle when she appears to be taking it very late Schenk a number of times she can just guide the shuttle across court is very impressive oh. 
Sheng on the attack, keeping the net. Keeps playing the shuttle down. Oh, yes, that's good. Good little deception shot on the service return. Very loose, relaxed hitting action, doesn't she, the youngster? It's lovely to watch, and I guess part of the deception is created by that because, I mean, I can't tell really when she's going to hit straight and when she's going to hit cross court. Same preparation, just turns that racket at the last moment. Impressive to see Shen Kishi's. It's all about smash, keep the net, smash, keep the net um, at all courses, and and just so people at home knows that you use. I think it's more than 50% energy when you smash compared to if you just use a clear or something mm -hmm. else. So it's actually really hard work she's putting yeah. into it. say she does now we, we've been only uh, very positive about Ratchanak and her, her way here but she does seem to have a little bit of a problem when she hits straight I think she's more successful with her cross method because she has more uh, what can you say more of the call to to use uh, she's been doing a lot of uh, especially in a forehand straight smashes out um, Maybe it's just today, but today it's not, it hasn't been that good. She can use the straight from her round head side when she can cut, but when she hits it uh, really straight, then, then she's been hanging it out. So uh, maybe that's why uh, Cheng is using her forehand so much, uh, because she's not, she's not really afraid for that straight smash. Yeah, that shuttle was landing about the front service line, wasn't it? Look yeah. at that. Oh. Just beyond it. Such a good angle. Oh, no serve is short. She used the cut, uh, and she opens up the court better, you know. Um, so if I was Juliana, Juliana right now, I would maybe look more for those cut smashes because she she hasn't been comfortable hitting straight, Ratchanak. So and then live with that that one shot that should be good. Um, I 
had a little flashback there to the opening game. Do you remember when she had a very short one and she tried to cut it across court and completely missed? That occasion went straight and it was perfect. My goodness me, 2.17. Well, Venus Williams, hardest ever serve in women's tennis was 2.09. There you go. Puts it into perspective, doesn't it? This is so difficult to call, isn't it? One moment I'm thinking, well, German is just beginning to impose her dominance, and then back comes Ratchanuk. Of course, she's got to overcome the milestone of... She's never been in a Super Series final before, whereas the German has. Certainly see, so no, no matter what right now, we spoke about what I said in the beginning. I was, you know, Schenk has gotten it where she wanted. She wanted to keep it close. Um, the good thing with, with Schenk is she has, she has the weapons. She has yeah. the good net, as you see here. She has the jump smash. So she can always, not always, but she, can, she, she knows she can take points. You know, she doesn't have to work from. She can take points. Uh, and when you know that and you, know, you can keep it close, then you're in a good position. Well, where you have players who are, don't have that many weapons, then, you know, it's a little bit different. Uh, but How much, though, is this change of ends going to affect the players psychologically? Because, of, of course, both players have enjoyed the success from the far side of the court as we look down. Yeah. Which, of course, is where Ratchanuk is going to finish. Yeah, well, I think it has something to say, you know. Uh, um, it, it looked like uh, Juliana was a little bit more successful on the other side because she had to dr had to drift with her. Did you uh, uh, I will say that that was Danny. Sorry, <laughs> her attacking game uh, 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 was what's more uh, effective. Uh, uh, where I don't think it would be that effective right now uh, on this side. Uh, well, let's see. She can prove me wrong, but uh, it gives Ratchanok that extra thing in her defense that that it doesn't she doesn't have to drift uh, uh, Juliana so she can make it harder now for her <laughs> and then again the knocks her attack also gets better on that yeah. side so but it's, it's kind of funny because if it was the men it would right now the good side to be standing on would be the one that Juliana is standing on now because then they could use the back coat uh, um, a lot and just force the, the opponent down there but but these two players wow. these two players doesn't use that many clears and they use the attacking game so Wonderful. Oh, my goodness. Well, the shuttle's got stuck on the net now. Just to explain the rule on that. They play a let, don't they? Or no. Nope. It didn't go over. Because it's on the... I think it has to be on the top of the tape. Right. She could go up and try and blow it over. No. <laughs> <laughs> what are you suggesting? <laughs> we'll have people writing in, you know. <laughs> Well, all four points since the main game interval have gone in favour oh. of Ratchanuk. See, both players are more successful on the sign. Ratchanuk is standing now with, in the attack. Oh, good shot. 
Yeah. Well, it's going to be very hard for Juliana on this side because he's going to have to hit more than once to get the shuttle down, and, and she's going to have to use more variation. So. And you can see her struggling for breath a little bit. Yeah. Understandable. We're just six minutes shy of the hour mark. But she's still in a good situation, you know, it's still close in the third. And she can get those points. And that's what we talk, you know. Yeah. Exactly what you were saying. She hit long going towards that far side. Yeah. Oh, that is magnificent. I'll eat my words with that straight smash. <laughs> that, was that was fantastic. Yeah, she have to say so that there's no cut in that one. No. And round the head position yeah. does seem to enjoy more success with the straight one. Just when it's deep in the forehand side, she seems to miss with the yeah. straight smash. Very important point that Juliana got there. I think if she doesn't get back here now, it's too late. She has to play the perfect game. She got you know, standing way better in the defense in that time. It's, it's clear to see they're way more effective in the uh, attack on that side that she's standing on now, so. Gianna knows that now, so she needs to keep the attack at all courses, and, and then at the same time, Ratchak knows that, so she, of course, is going to cover for that. But it's just going to be hard work now. Creeping ever closer to her goal. Just two points required to reach her first ever Super Series Tournament Final. Credit to the youngster because she really has played quite magnificently. Six match point opportunities. It's gone wide, and indeed, Intanon Rachanuk is through to the final, uh, first ever Super Series tournament final. And it's a premier event at that. Her traditional sign of thanks to the court officials and to the fans. Well, disappointment for Juliana Schenk after that superb win yesterday against last year's champion and the current world champion. Goes out today 
to Intanon Arachanuk, who came from a game down 18 21 21 10 21 14 in the deciding game in a match just two minutes shy of the hour mark